<clears throat> what up everyone michael b petty here and people have been flooding me with messages talking about amberlyn's deleted vlog and how i need to like see the de deleted vlog and i need to react to the deleted vlog so i was like you know what fuck it i mean i just came home from my lab but let's just do it let's just fucking react to her fucking vlog i mean it can't be any worse or any better than I mean it has been, but you know I'm always interested to see what our girl, our girl Amberlynn, our home girl, our girl d deep down in the south is doing and how this weight loss journey is going. I mean I'm sure we won't get anything in regards to her weight loss, but you know it won't hurt to see what's happening over in Kentucky. So let's get into it. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I am so proud of my girl CXNT and this intro. I mean, I'm so glad that she's doing her due diligence and is getting these things before they're taken down so we all have the luxury of being able to see them. But girl, that intro right there, slay me so fucking hard. I can't. I fucking love it. Twinkie's looking bigger and plumper than ever. Yay! It's my son. It feels good out here today. So Becky is the one that has to like open the door now good for morning, Twinkie because Amber can't be fucked to it get out of bed. Is Saturday and Twinkie. Becky, I mean, it's my best friend. I'm sorry, y'all, but dude, I know people. I can't, dude. Becky has put on so much fucking weight. So much fucking weight. It's not 30 pounds or whatever, 40 pounds like Amberlynn is saying. It has got to be way more than that. She is looking real plump. And I know that she's like trying to go around here saying that the reason her chin is like that is because of like that's how her family is or that she inherited it from her family. But if you look up her prom picture or whatever, like she didn't have that. So like all of that is new. All of this is brand new. Yeah. Twinkle Star. She's going potty. She's barking at the cars. What are you doing under there? What are you doing? That's my best friend riveting. out there. Riveting content. So fucking riveting. What? There's another dog. Oh my god. Where? This Twinkie. is why, I mean, Twinkie. I don't know. Nope. I grew nope. up somewhere. I didn't grow up, like, nope. in the, like, south or whatever, like, Hi. a rural area. So, every all of our yards are fenced in. So, it's, like, weird when That's I see people with, like, puppy. unfenced yards. I don't know why. This is somebody's dog. Hi. Come here. Oh, my God. The noises are so... Hi. Why are we watching? Who cares You're about this? puppy. This is so stupid. Come here. Like, Here's Jesus doggy. fucking Christ, dude. Come here, baby. It's okay. I don't know. I don't let just, like, random-ass dogs come up to my dog unless we're, like, unless he's in the dog park. And even then, he's always on a yeah, leash, so... Yeah, someone's dog has broke their chain, and I can't find an address on it. No. Twinkie, like, never sees other dogs other than, like, Trixie. They're just smelling each other. Huh? They're just smelling each other. Hot chubs. Hot Twinkie. Oh, I got tongue-tied. Oh, they got tongue-tied. So, my sister's made breakfast for everyone, and I'm really hungry. Look at all that grease. That's just a pan oh, of grease. grease back there. <laughs> I'm really hungry. I can't wait. The bacon. Oh, so, like... So is Becky's sister there, like, helping take care of Amber now? Like, is that the new thing? Is that, like, now Becky's sister has to come in and, like, help cook and stuff? Because, like, poor Becky needs a break. Bacon. Amber's not going to eat it, though, because when it comes to bacon, like, it's uh, not pre-made. I'm, picky when I'm it comes sure you're picky too. when it comes to bacon, girl. You um, look like you're picky so... when it comes to bacon. The closest I could get to, like, my mamaw's breakfast is, is my aunt. I'm going to say her name. My aunt, my mom, and my sister. That's about the closest I can get to mamaw. And she passed away in 2015. And, no, wait. That was my great-grandmother. Can we just talk about, I mean, I don't, I'm not trying to be, like, super insensitive to this or whatever, but 
I feel as though Becky is always talking about someone's death. Like, she's either talking about her nephew's death, her grandparents' death, so-and-so. She knows this person who died. I don't understand the fascination with, like, wanting to constantly rehash people's deaths. I don't know. I mean, I'm assuming it's trauma she hasn't really overcome. But it's just, like... We get it. Like, people in your family have died. Like, I mean, everyone has family members that have died. Like, just keep it pushing. Like, just, we don't, I honestly, I don't know. When I talk about, like, family members that have passed, I honestly don't even refer to them as being dead. Or, like, if I'm having a memory about them, I'm not like, oh, my old ma- my grandma who died. Like, I'm just like, oh, I remember when my great-grandmother used to do this for me. Or she made me this blanket. I don't say, like, oh, my great-grandmother who died, this is the blanket. Like, as if it, like, makes it... I don't know. I guess it makes it more significant because she passed up. I don't fucking know. But it just seems like Becky is always talking about the passing of one of her family members. And it's like, is it because she's not overcome or she's not walked or dealt with like the feelings she's had about it? She's not been able to mourn and process it. Or is it just because she ain't got shit else to talk about? I don't know. My mama passed away in 2012. So it's been a while since we've had her cooking and I'm pretty excited do you hear that? Oh, here comes Waddler. Look at how she walks. She, like, doesn't bend her knees. It's like... Cheesy! What are you doing? <laughs> she just waddles. They've gathered a bunch of sticks. For what? <coughs> yeah, I hear them. Someone put a cart in our backyard? I don't even know. That's weird. But, hello, everybody. Ooh, that hump. That camel Today hump, though. kind of like s'mores grilling barbecue type deal so Becky and I god she like can't even oh, breathe and she's just like so walked bad. outside Becky and I have to go to the store Eric and Ricky, Ricky got a few things and we have to go get the rest of the stuff so we're gonna go do that oh my god I love as though like you know the truth is that she doesn't need to go to the store but she will find any excuse in the book to go to the store and the excuse now is that what what Ricky and Eric went and got is now insufficient, so they need to go and get more. Like, can you just fucking exist on, like, not tons of food for a day? Look at this. You can't go. You can't go, baby. If I see another fucking dog in this vlog, you can't so let me go, I'm over it. Before anyone says anything, yes, I'm sitting in a scooter, but I just wanted to show you some of the things. Not a vegetable in sight. Like I said, Eric and Ricky got a few things already, so thankful for that um i don't like hot dogs we got some burgers they're frozen they of course ketchup. if you're gonna make them that night like why don't you just go and get like the fresh burger patties like why get the frozen ones i don't understand that becky got some caramel of course because that's really what becky that. needs right now we got some barbecue, barbecue chips, chips of course fucking um, potato buns or whatever buns. potato salad this is like a feta Salad, I don't know. We got some potato wedges. Everything's like s'mores. fried. Actually, Everything's fried. Not there's no vegetables right now. Got some ranch. Of course, let's just put more calories on it. Macaroni and cheese. Yeah, so, yeah, also, can I someone explain more... to me what the point of the Fitbit is? If you're just gonna like sit everywhere, like if you're not gonna actually get up and walk around Walmart, then what's the point of wearing the fucking Fitbit? Like just fu- you're gonna ride the scooter. Like the scootering, the, the Fitbit isn't gonna track your mileage on your scooter. So just fucking take it off. More than likely going to be vlogging later, so I'll show you guys everything else that we have. Okay, there we go. Um, so yeah, I'm just waiting for Becky right now. I'm like worried. I'm like, is anyone behind me like staring at me? It. Oh my gosh. <laughs> There's a little girl. <laughs> that is so cute. She's like, why There's is this like super me, fat woman like, like recording curve. herself on a fucking scooter? Vroom, vroom, bitch. Vroom, vroom. Did she? <laughs> she just ran over Becky's foot. I can't, dude. She what? just ran over Becky's foot. Did Becky not even feel that? Is that like the diabetes now? She like can't even feel her feet? I can't. That's crazy. She have like neuropathy of her feet now. She doesn't even feel it. That's, dude, a 550 pound woman just ran over your fucking foot in a scooter and you didn't flinch? The fuck? That's crazy. So I'm glad I remembered. So 
what I was saying about the door, down here, someone, <laughs> the hate like, crime. hit it. This part was indented in here, behind this, and this door would not open at all. So, what we have left that we did not get fixed was this dent won't come out for some reason. How much you want to bet, this, how much you want to bet like, that Amber was trying to get out of the car and she probably fell really or we something, or fixed. maybe not fell, but, but like the door swung reason. open all crazy and she was leaning well, on it and it like ran itself. into another so car. So we have to go to an actual like auto place, which I don't mind. Also, it obviously wasn't a hate crime. So I wouldn't go with a sledgehammer and just like yeah, hit the like frame wrong. of your door for shits and yeah. giggles. Why are there all these stray animals? And why are we just like... It's so weird. It's like no one give a fuck about their animals over there or something. Yeah. Becky looks so big. You look like that... It's a meme. Every time you make that face. It's like a... I think it's like a seagull. A seagull? Where you're like... You, like, poke your head out from, like, your shoulders. You're just like, nah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I don't even I love the two tiki torches. They went all out with the decorations for Ricky. Poor Ricky works his ass off, and, like, this is all he gets. Watch, and he's probably going to be the one that has to cook all the food and, like, start the fire pit and everything, too. Okay. Yeah, but be careful putting your hand there. The butthole looks like swollen. Ew. I'm a girl. This is a stray cat that fell in love with us. I named her Hermione. She goes oh away. God. She comes back. This is giving me rarity vibes all over again. You are so friendly and loved. Yes, you are. I tried to see if my sister would take her. My sister wouldn't. I don't mind okay, having her. Of course, Amber doesn't I'm mind having her. <laughs> remember how upset? Remember how? Remember how concerned she was about like letting. Uh, uh, letting Wasabi and Rarity move in with him or whatever and so concerned about the landlord and all that shit but now hey here's another cat it's fine now like of course sad because the cold months are coming she'll be fine <laughs> that other whoever that man is is like not Probably about the survive. bullshit but she's a baby oh yeah and she'll be I fine she's somewhere that my baby girl her nipples are like huge. well they think she's pregnant again why is her yeah. tail cut off? I feel like she belongs to someone, but she just comes to us for the food. You could be right. So Amberlynn just described herself. The I feel like she grandma's. belongs to someone, but my she just comes to us for food. Come over to their house, you know. Yeah. She's just like that's one of my animals. Why. I mean, he's <laughs> home, right? <laughs> that's why I don't want to take her like to the um, shelter or anything. So could be someone's cat just right. like near but she just likes us a lot too so she's like i adopted you as a family you know Pretty much. why is amber's hair always so look like it's hard come out here and check for her every like day. it looks like it like it could break at any given moment like if you touched it it would just like crest and break oh yeah just what i thought ricky's gonna have to be the one that does all the fucking work he has to cook clean mow the lawn gotta cook amber's 12 cheeseburgers for her, like. There's one vegetable. There's one vegetable on that entire plate and it was the iceberg lettuce on top of the cheeseburger. Twinkie is always whale-eyed. She's so cringy. She's so fucking weird. God, dude, look at the fupa. Hi, babe. What's up with this lame ass Kelly Clarkson? She has no neck. Becky's neck is gone. It's missing. Missing Becky's neck. Oh, I guess that's it. That's how she's going to end it or whatever. You fucking. Oh, my God. What a fucking video. Holy shit. I was I don't understand why she deleted it. Was there something in there specifically that Amber didn't want people to see or something? That's what I'm confused about. Because there wasn't really anything in there other than the fact that obviously the diet isn't working and we're just fucking like 
balls to the wall with our weight gain journey right now. So I don't know why she deleted it. I wonder what it was. I'm sure like in the coming days as more and more people watch it and like go screen by screen, frame by frame, they'll find something as to why Amber probably took it down and why she's no longer why she didn't want it up there because girl we know she wants the money it's like so i don't really understand what the whole point of that was um i do have some uh different video ideas coming at you in the next week um, i'm gonna do like a kind of an unpopular opinion video um i am gonna do a story time video about my experience with um border patrol that was very interesting um, so yeah, that was super interesting and I am trying to, I'm going to talk to my friend about doing like a girlfriend does my makeup or I don't know, something along the lines of that just because I think it's funny as fuck and I also would love to go and just try to like match my foundation at like CVS or something like that would be hilarious. So yeah, um, I do have some other things coming at you. Um, thank you all so much for tuning in. Uh, my Twitter is Michael B. Petty. My Instagram is Michael B. Petty. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, toodles.